Hi there and welcome to a new SketchUp rendering tutorial. So today I'm going to be talking about the tone operator which is part of the RRender Next uh, SketchUp rendering program which uh, this rendering tutorial series is for. So uh, the tone operator uh, feature is very useful and I'm definitely sure that it will make your life so much easier. So here you see one of the houses that I've ever created. I'll just choose a shot to create your rendered image of. We'll click over here and the magic will happen when we are in our render next so let's jump right onto the rendered image right now as you can see here we are in our render next and as you can see the image of our model has been rendered perfectly fine it looks good but maybe we can change some things using the tone operator because I must say that read looks kind of like it's overexposed so let's go to the tone operator which is this button over here at the left top of your R render interface and here you see tone operator brightness contrast burn and saturation which is all we're going to be looking at today filters will be featured in a different video which is coming up very soon as well so brightness it's very easy just like I said at the beginning of this video this feature tone operator just functions very well in my opinion our render next really did a, a perfect uh, perfectly fine job on that and as you can see we've got a slider as well uh, just to make very quick adjustments but you can also go into very precise adjustments as you can see so here we've made it a little bit less bright so the read over here looks a little bit better and here we also have contrast as one of the options which will make uh, dark things darker and white things well if you make it lower it will turn into more of a gray image as you can see here and if you turn it up higher the contrast between dark and light parts will be bigger uh, of course the name contrast is what uh, comes from that so you can be very precise with up to tens or uh, up to one difference over there so I guess a little bit of a higher contrast over here would be good uh, but of course it really depends on the model that you've created because uh, this model was rendered perfectly fine in my opinion but maybe you have a model which you think would look better if adjustments were made and in that case I think it's very useful if you know uh, what it works like so uh, furthermore uh, we've also got burn which is quite a yeah a hard feature but I'll just explain what it is and then you can I guess play around with it a little bit I will show you what it does here as you can see it overexposes a lot and I believe especially when you've got shiny objects this can be very useful and over here we've also got the last option saturation which you've also seen in one of my previous videos already for uh, creating gray tones and here you can turn your image uh, your rendered image into a black and white image which is pretty good but you can also make it a little bit less over uh, saturated in case your image is too saturated by uh, turning it down like this but of course if you want to have the full colors which are originally in there 100 is the way to go so as I said this is a very simple and very useful feature in my opinion I would advise to play around with it see what will work for your image uh, of course I ran the next often does a re really good job on rendering and therefore you might not always need to make adjustments and in this case I think uh, the image looks really good so I did not have to make very many adjustments but for several uh, or for certain images which you've rendered you might have to make adjustments and then I think it was useful um, to make this tutorial on tone operators uh, so I hope you found it useful indeed and if you would like to learn more about our render next of course check out their side link is in the description and also check out the full playlist of all my tutorials which i've made for them but anyways thanks for watching this video i hope you found it useful and i hope to see you back later